What is up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today we are going to do something that no one has ever done in the history of Ark. And I mean literally no one has ever done this. This is the stupidest idea you could ever do. But today we're going to try to make an entire base out of nothing but dinosaurs. So here are the current dinosaur culprits. And I kind of thought this through in my mind and I was like, there's a lot of ways we could build a house. You know, we could use our wood, we could use our stone. There's a lot, there's a lot of different ways we could do it. But I thought the best way to do it is to first off have a dung beetle flooring. And so we're going to start with this nice little dung beetle circle over here. Here. And we're going to place these to create our flooring. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'd like to be a beachfront property, which is why we're hanging out on the beach right now. Now I'm placing a dodo flooring. It's obviously important to get a nice color variation out there. This is adds like the Shazam, like your girlfriend comes home and she's like, whoa, that's a really, or, you know, maybe like a new girl you meet. She's like, that's a really nice house. Like, where did you get this floor? There it is again. Look at this. There's these weird purple things coming down. You know, there's something kind of horrible about just building an entire base out of, uh, out of frozen creatures. Something about it just feels kind of... So this is going to be like a probably like a 3x3 three three in size because we want it to be nice and compact. Obviously, people are going to raid us. You want to get a nice small base. There's only one person here, so we don't want to push it too hard, guys. You know, the more I think about this, so the more I'm kind of like, this might be a terrible idea because like, I feel like if you stepped on dung beetles, like, are they going to like... I just feel like they're going to stink real bad. I mean, the truth is, this is literally just creating a floor that's just made of poop bugs. That's really what we're doing. They're pretty poop bugs, but they're poop bugs nonetheless. Whew. 99 dung beetles floating in the air, 99 bottles of... I know what it feels like to be a carpenter, and I just tell you what, it's not for me. Whew. All right, guys, so this is our final dung beetle flooring. It looks pretty good, nice and colorful. Like, you know, I picked these up at, uh, picked these up at, um, you can pick up the dung beetle flooring at, at uh, Home Depot. It's like $5 a square foot. They're pretty cheap, but it's beautiful. So the next step in building an all dinosaur house is you got to get your walls up and your doors. So I feel like what's the best move for that? Obviously, the best move for a nice wall door situation is you maybe want to get some of some of these bad boys. So we're going to put our front door right over here. And I think what we're going to do, it's, uh, maybe not, it's going to be it's going to be a real tight front door, I think. We're going to have to uh, swing this bad boy around, bring it on up here into the center, and we're going to actually put him right on the side of that dung beetle. So actually, the great thing about it is that these little uh, these little guys work as front doors and walls. They're kind of a two-for-one deal. All right, so these are, <laughs> these are our walls right now. So we got a nice little dung beetle floor, a nice little parasaur wall. I think we got to get some scorpions in here because like scorpion boys feel a little bit spooky. So let's see. We obviously want the stinger to be pointing out. So maybe they'll be like in our in our, our corners or something like that, like a little scorpion corner action. All right, so this is our foundation. We've got a two pair of store door front entrance, two walls. We've got four scorpions in the back. We've got an entire floor of 50 dung beetles. And now we're going to move into our final Scorpio boy. Now we're going to lower this one a little bit, just enough so that the stinger just kind of peeks out the front entrance. And that's just for like the intimidation factor. Like you trying to like walk up to your neighbor, go trick or treating. You see a scorpion stinger. You're like, nah, nah, that's not for me, dude. I'm not going to deal with that. Now we do have a little collection of penguins up here. And I thought we would use these, but I don't really see how they would fit in. Maybe as a wall, I guess. All right, we got a raptor back wall here. That's looking pretty solid. I think raptors are great because they're simple creatures, yet they're mildly intimidating. But the real intimidators here are, of course, the spiders. So we want two spiders in the front entrance kind of, kind of, you know, working together with that scorpion. That looks good. That looks really good. You got this, this symmetry. You got two Spider-Mans right there. So you got that taken care of. All right, now, like like any good beach house, obviously what you need to do here is get a little bit of bear on the outside. Now, bears, bears good. Not only intimidation factor, but also they just look really, really good as a wall, like a nice bear hide wall coming on here. Now, I feel like we got some issues with this bear because it's literally walking at an angle. For some reason, I can't seem to flatten this one. It's it's a messed up bear, but that's okay. Not all your walls are going to be perfect, so we'll pop him in right there. Now, while we're here, I think it's time to get our Quetzal roof up and ready. So we're going to go ahead and fly our Quetzal right on top of this bad boy and just get the roof frame taken care of. Now, we don't need it to be perfect, but we do need it to get there. Right right there. Stop. That's not good. See, the Quetzal really, <laughs> it honestly really brings it together. Like, it, it kind of looked bad before, but now you have a roof. You have a little bit of a cozy nook to get into. And you just step on the dead bodies of thousands of things and you just look around at you and you're like, wow, this is actually beautiful. You know? All right, up next, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to throw the compies. I don't know how, yeah, I don't, I don't think the compies are gonna be great additions here. I think they're gonna kind of be too difficult to place, but we could. All right, guys, so, it, you know, it didn't really work as well as I thought. You kind of float in there, you can't really move around, but we've got a nice looking base. You know, we've got dire bear fur on the walls to keep you warm, a nice quetzal roof, a beautiful looking floor that your girlfriend will love, and some Spider-Man dudes in the front. But now, since we can't walk, I wanna try the command to unfreeze dinosaurs and just see what happens to our base once we unfreeze literally everything. See if it's it's still not movable. Interestingly, the dire bear stays stacked and the quetzal staying there, but I think it's just kind of let's let's fly ghost out of here and see what we get coming on in. Okay, it turns into a giant puddle of nothingness. That's really not that's you know, not good, I don't think. 
Dire Bell, okay, everything's attacking. Oh my gosh, I have little baby kittens. I forgot I made these. I was gonna build out of the kittens, but then I realized you can't really pick them up that easily, so it just did, it didn't work out. But I would say, all things considered, you should start building your bases out of dinosaurs. This is clearly the greatest idea. Whoever gets the stupidest idea for the next episode will be pinned, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to spread the love. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.